what is up guys so I'm just gonna be jumping right into the tutorial I primed my eyelids with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and then I am using the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette I took the color Pooter and I'm just blending this in my crease buffing it out towards the edges I'm basically just packing and blending that shadow out I love this freaking palette you guys I can't get enough of it and then I went over that color with the color buns and same thing, just packing that color over top of the color pooter, blending out the edges as I go. I'm just using this to deepen up the eyeshadow a little bit more. And then I went in with the color chip, which is this darker brown color. It kind of has like a purpley undertone to it, like reddish, purpley, I don't know, I can't really explain it. But it's a really warm, dark brown. And I am focusing this in the crease and... Pretty much same thing, just packing and blending it out towards the edges. Um, I switched brushes here and I took a fluffy brush. This one was clean. Um, I just like to apply my eyeshadow with a little small packing brush and then blending it out with a clean blending brush. And as you can see, I'm adding some black eyeshadow to the outer corner. Um, with black, you want to work in small sections, so you want to add a little bit of black and then blend that out, add more black, blend it out. Um, that's what I did, but um, I obviously sped it up just for the purpose of the video. But yeah, just um, apply the black and then blend it out with a clean blending brush. And then for the lid, I took the ColourPop Supernova Shadow. Um, I don't remember the name. I think this is Walk of Fame. It's the gold one. Um, I love these shadows. They're amazing. You guys should totally pick them up if you want a pop of metallic on your lid. Um, they're only like $6, I think. So yeah, I cut my crease with this gold eyeshadow, and then I just, I did like two layers of this eyeshadow, because one isn't enough for me, like I really want it to pop. And then for the outer corners, I just blended it out with my finger, as you can see, it's really easy. And then I went over that with a little bit of my black eyeshadow. I think I had a little bit of brown left over on there, and I'm just placing it in the middle sort of blending that black and that gold together so it doesn't look so harsh and then I switched back to a clean blending brush and I am just buffing out those edges just so everything looks nice and blended and nothing looks super harsh and then I'm just cleaning it up with a makeup wipe making everything look super sharp and clean Next, I'm going into the Modern Renaissance palette, and I'm taking that color right there. Um, I don't know the name of it, but I use it to highlight my um, brow bone. And I usually do this before I go in with, like, the smoky shadows, but I completely forgot, so I did that at last minute. And then I went back in with a clean blending brush and just made sure that that looked blended because I didn't want a streak of, like, highlight on my brow bone. And then next, we're moving on to face. I took the Scandinavia Primer Spray. This is really good for controlling the oils. Like, it helps keep your face matte in the areas where you want it matte. And then I went in with the Tarte Brighter Days Primer. This is like a glowy lotion type of primer. I highly recommend the Milani one, though. It's only like 8 bucks, and it's way better than this one, in my opinion. <laughs> um, and for foundation, I went in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I'm in the color Golden Beige. I went in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder to set all of that. Um, this is a really good drugstore powder if you're looking for one. It's bomb. Um, I don't know about the flashback though, so just look that up because, you know, you don't want to be looking like a ghost in your pictures. And then I set that concealer with the NYX HD Setting Powder. I got mine in the shade Banana. Next, I'm going in with the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Yo, this fucking bronzer is bomb as fuck. If you guys don't have it, y'all are missing out. I literally use this bronzer in every freaking video because it's that bomb. So now I'm just going to be baking under that bronzer slash contour just to make everything look nice and sharp and flawless AF. And now I'm just going to be carving out my nose, making it look snatched as fuck. Because who doesn't want a snatched, slim-looking nose? Like, come on, bitch. We all do. You know you do. Um, but yeah. If you guys want an in-depth video on how I do this uh, nose contour, um, let me know. But it's really simple, as you guys can see. 
And I'm just dusting off that powder very angrily. <laughs> Fuck, I look like I'm so mad when I'm doing this. I'm like taking my anger out on myself or something. And now I'm just highlighting with the Dose of Colors Fuego highlighter. This shit is bomb, you guys. It's limited edition, but it's so good. I wish it wasn't limited edition because it's literally my go-to highlighter. I've hit pan on it, and it usually takes me a little while for me to hit pan on my highlighters because I have so many of them. But sadly, I hit pan, so wah, I'm sad. Um, moving on to blush, I took the Milani Baked Blush in the color Berry Amour. This is my favorite blush, you guys. It's bomb. It is just the perfect mauve pink color. And then for lips, I took the um, MAC Whirl Lip Liner. And then I also took the MAC Whirl Lipstick, but I didn't show it on camera for some reason. Um, I applied that under the um, lip gloss that I'm applying right now. For lip gloss, I took the Maybelline Hot Vivid Lacquers. I always use these, and you guys always ask me what I'm wearing on my lips. Um, I will leave the shade name down below because I don't know it from the top of my head, but it's one of my favorites. It's like a light pinky nude, like a very, very light pinky nude, though. And then I went in with the Modern Renaissance palette. I took the color Burnt Orange, and I'm just buffing that out on my lower lash line. I could have definitely used a color from the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette, um, but I don't know why I didn't think of that. I just picked this one up at the moment. Um, and then I went in with the color Chip from the Morphe palette, and I'm just smoking out my lower lash line, making everything look super smoked out and blown out. I really enjoy that look on myself. And then for lashes, I took the lashes in the style Daydream. These are by the brand called Lash Dreams. I do have a discount code. Um, I'm just throwing that out there just in case you want to save some money on some bomb ass lashes. My code is Jocelyn X. I will leave it down below. Um, these are so fucking bomb, you guys. Like, I'm drooling right now. But yeah, this is what they look like. They're super voluminous, wispy, fluffy, bomb. <laughs> and then I just went ahead and set that makeup with the Mario Badescu Cucumber and Green Tea Water. This just helps my makeup stay a little refreshed, not so dry. And then I went in with the Cover Effects um, Setting Spray. This is a dewy one. Um, it makes everything look super luminous and glowy. Got you looking like an angel. And then to set that makeup in place, I took the Scandinavia Setting Spray. And this is going to keep everything on all night, all day, whatever. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I appreciate y'all so much. And don't forget to subscribe so you can see more of my videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.